plan was to get in the water, uh, make my way to the chain, go down 30 or 40 feet and wait for the creature. The thing is, um, this is what's known as blue water diving. The, the bottom is not in sight, it's actually a mile and a half deep there. And so the challenge is to hold yourself at a certain depth. And it's actually not that easy. Affirmative, yes, I'm on the anchor chain. If I was just concentrating on that, that would have been OK. But the fact is, um, I had other things on my mind. I was looking for this creature, I was thinking about what I'm going to say. And so my control over my depth wasn't that great. And the thing about that is, is when you start changing your depth underwater, whether it's going down or going up, if you don't correct it soon enough, it can accelerate. If you start going down, you start going down faster and faster. Topside, do you read me? Do you read me? Over. Probably here I'm panting a bit. Water coming in my mask. Not doing totally well at the moment. Okay, fella. Coming up quickly when you're diving is not good news at all. You've got um, nitrogen in solution in your blood. If you start going up quickly, that forms bubbles. That's what causes what people know as the bends. Um, at the, the mild end of the spectrum, you're talking about pain. Uh, at the other end of the spectrum, if you don't get it dealt with, you're talking about paralysis or death. I think I'm probably about ready to come out. Just take a few minutes. I needed to fight my instinct to surface immediately. I consider myself a fairly fit individual, but I was left physically exhausted. 